Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. Uh, the kid is there. We're just doing a little bit of tidying up here in the van, getting some uh, emails done, and then we're heading off to West Cork. We're calling this the West Cork Trilogy. We're going to hit three campsites. Well, we're going to hit three stopovers. One is Aries, uh, just out the Bear Peninsula, then Glen Gareth Caravan and Camping Park, and then Sextons, which I think is Timaleague, Clonakilty kind of area. So there are so many campsites in West Cork, but we've only got Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. This video, this trilogy video series is brought to you with thanks to our friends at Pat Horan Motors, the camper center of Ireland. More details on them in a couple of minutes time. So a little bit of road footage, you can skip here if you want to miss the road footage and get us just coming in to Aries, which is in the village of Aries on the Barra Peninsula. And that will be stop number one, in the West Cork Trilogy for 2021. We'll talk to you then. So we've made it to Aries Rock. You get a, an information pack when you get here. You get a business card, loads to do, rules and regulations, not many of them, the general stuff. And then a menu because there's a restaurant on site, which I will take you down to and tell you about. You also get a key code. And that's what we're gonna do now is make our way up to the gate. It was a long drive, but look, I came the long way. We can't obviously do them all, so that's why we picked these three, starting here with Aries, the furthest point, and then we're gonna work our way back to base. I'll get settled and I'll talk to you in a couple of minutes. So we made it to Aries. It's a little village on the Barra Peninsula. Um, there's a restaurant as you make your way into the motorhome stop. This is not a campsite, it's an air. It's an air with facilities as in grey water, black water dump and fresh water as well. I'll turn the camera and I'll show you exactly where we are. When you make your way in the key coded gate, the bins and water and grey water disposal is over there. There are hard stands with 10 amp electric power. Uh, I think there's one, two, I think there's about 10 or 12 of them. And then up through there, if you keep alongside the wall, is an overflow of green area where pitches are marked out, but there is no power over there. This place is brilliant. Now look, I said earlier on as we were driving in the gate, there are hundreds of places to go in West Cork, 
we picked here, it's the furthest point from our house, we're going to make our way to Glen Gareth. We're also going to make our way then towards Clonakilty. There are a couple of campsites in Glen Gareth. There's Mannix Point is out that way, Glen Gareth itself. There are campsites between here in Bandon as you make your way towards Clonakilty, from Clonakilty to Cork. We just wanted to come down here because long before this was developed the way it is now, we were invited down too noisy on you. We were invited down by Coleman all long before COVID. But then of course COVID hit and well that put a stop to everything. Now the weekend had just gone. One of the Facebook groups I'm on for self-build um, build camper vans, they were here. They had a bit of a, a COVID restriction adhered to meat and seemingly they had a great crack. But they took over the camp at that end there, the hard stands, and then this is the overflow which is pretty loud and it would take a fair size uh, number of camper vans in there as well. So we decided to do West Cork and as I said there are loads of places we could have stopped. We're going to start here, this is video one, we're going to make our way to Glen Gareth, there are a few campsites out that way and then we're going to make our way to Sexton's. Sexton's, Sexton's is one I've wanted to stay in for a long long time, it's kind of kilty Tim League out that area. So we will get the drone up, we're going to go and get a, a bite to eat then we get the drone up. There's only three, four motorhomes and I think a couple of caravans here at the moment. But I get the drone up and just show you from the skies the layout of this place. It's a fair old drive for us from Waterford Tip Border. But you know what? If you wanted to tour West Cork, the Barra Peninsula drive to here was beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was absolutely beautiful. Now, by the way, coming soon, and I just see a sign here is Aries Holiday Park, static holiday mobile homes. This place is going to be developed and it's going to be developed well, and it is well worth a trip to here. I know this guy is enjoying the grass anyway. I'm going to take you for a, oh, what did I zoom this back out, sorry. I'm going to take you for a quick walk just to show you. We'll go this way, Charlie. The hard stands, I think I'm up a bit of a hill, so if you have your chocks, it might be handy. There's lighting here as well. As I said, there's a key code gate when you make your way in. Come on, Charlie. There is Wi-Fi, there is a code. There are signs saying clean up after your dogs, they are welcome. There's a little dog over there with those people called Cooper. It's only a little puppy dog. And there are your bins. Uh, recycling is uh, encouraged here. Now, they haven't been emptied yet because this place was packed over the weekend and the guys are actually just getting ready to tidy up here. Black water, grey water disposal and fresh water as well. And then electric power points on all of the stands all the way around here. And fine size pitches they are too. So we finally made it to Aries Rocks. That's the cafe downtown. They give you a phone number. We rang in because they give you an extensive menu by the way. A very good extensive menu. We rang in and got sausage and chips. Chips for me. Sausage for the kids. When you come in, you get the rules and regulations. Look, there's just disclaimers. You get the key code to the gate. Rates motorhome, 15 euro per night, 20 quid with electricity. It's 10 amp electricity. Uh, additional equipment, tents. It's only when it's part of a family motorhome. So they don't take campers in here. <clears throat> but if you have a tent as part of your unit, they will allow it. And a different ch additional charges will apply. There are no toilets or showers. There is Wi-Fi and please clean up after your dog. And then you get this map of Aries and it tells you all of the things to do around this beautiful little village area. There are playgrounds to beat the band. There are walks, there are cycles. Minutes out the gate. So... We have read a lot about this place and I even think Pamela and Johnny did a, a video. They, they do similar stuff to us. They reviewed it a couple of weeks back when they were here on the holidays. I was on the radio with Coleman on, that's Coleman is the chap who owns the place. And I was on News Talk a couple of weeks back from recording this. <clears throat> I had never met the chap and I said it's somewhere I've always wanted to come. It's a long old spin. But if you want to do West Cork, I would suggest come out this far, 
start here. He's gone into the shade. It's 24 degrees at the moment. <laughs> he just can't stay, stay cool. I would suggest you come out here and then start from here. We are going to Glengariff for part two. Look at the sweat rolling off my head. And then we're going to Sexton's for part three of this trilogy of West Cork. There are plenty of campsites to go to in West Cork. We just picked those ones. Maybe there's a West Cork trilogy too in the makings of Charlie and me. I'm going to put some drone footage up here and then we'll come back and have a chat. things to do as I say this map will give you a lot of things to do in the village here alone there's a playground um, there's the sensory gardens if you go to oh there's also the strand if you go to Gertine they've got a coast guard station there which is in ruins but it's worth a look at uh, Kilcatron the Hag of Berra the drive from here if you're mobile head back out towards Berra around the peninsula it's absolutely beautiful and it's a beautiful drive He's made his way back to me. Just relax. The pitches are a fine size. There are people here already and two more motorhomes have pulled in. You don't have to have a hard stand with electricity. There is an overflow, which is a green area where you can park and throw out your awning and stay there with no electricity. There are no toilets, no showers. Black water, fresh water and bins are here on site. Black water and grey water disposal and fresh water here on site. Do not use the fresh water for washing your cars, vans or motorbikes. That's on the rules as well. That is it for stop one on our West Cork trilogy. Thank you for joining us. Next week will be stop two, which is Glen Gareth Caravan and Camping Park. From me, Aaron, and from a flat out Charlie Brown. Take care of yourselves and thanks for joining us. Bye bye.